Hello again, I am Blunty. Let's take a little break from my usual video flair recently, that being Star Trek and video games basically, to uh, talk about something that supports my love of Star Trek and video games, mainly by keeping me conscious and awake to enjoy Star Trek and video games. Coffee! I like coffee. I like fresh brewed coffee, preferably from halfway decent freshly ground beans, thank you very much, which I buy in small batches so the scourge of oxygen doesn't deplete or alter their flavours before I get to use the beans. Now, that said, I try not to be too snobby about it because coffee snobs are just exhaustingly tedious people to speak to. Uh, not quite as bad as wine snobs, but close, close enough. But the risk of being a little bit snobby about your coffee is worth it because there is a very appreciable difference between bad and middling and good coffee, so it's nice to do it with enough care and attention and effort to get a good cup for yourself. Hopefully without spiralling down into the realm of being a complete tosser about it all. <laughs> it's a very fine line to walk. Anyway, I live in a tiny apartment with a kitchen so tiny I can reach everything in it without actually taking a single step. I have to like turn 90 degrees sometimes maybe, but yeah, it's, it's pretty tiny. So bench space is pretty precious, meaning I don't own a benchtop grind to fill my coffee beans. So I usually grind by hand, which is fine. I've got a fairly decent grinder. It's nice and consistent at least, but I also sometimes feel quite lazy about it. It doesn't take a lot of effort to grind a cup of beans, but still... I know at least some of you out there feel me. So I decided to try out something to indulge my laziness in my bean grinding activity, something that probably should be a bit shit by all logic, but if it is serviceable, it just might be a bit nice too. A USB charging electric coffee grinder. And the one I stumbled across apparently is a brand new model just on the market, so let's give it a go. And the reason I expect it should be a bit shit, by the way, is partly because it's mostly plastic. It's using battery power, which if you're trying to run an electric motor at low speeds and through a gearing system that will give you enough torque to actually crush coffee beans properly through a burr grinder, well, it's, it's not the most ideal engineering. And I was expecting this to, to, to struggle with at least finer grinds, or just burn through the battery in a ridiculously pointlessly short time. But, spoiler alert, I was actually pleasantly surprised. So, let's take a look at the USB rechargeable burr coffee grinder from a brand that resembles the results of a kitten on a catnip bender trying to fight a keyboard to death. What's up, kitty knock? I don't know. Is that German? Is that Russian? Did Germany and Russia have an alphabet fight? I think they both lost. Anyway, let's see what we have here. Some kind of filter paper. We'll look at that later. There's a cap here with a handle just in case you're after a cup or an oh no, the battery happens to be dead on you. So you can indeed operate the grinding portion of this setup as a normal hand grinder if you absolutely need to. So that's nice. Feels a bit cheap and nasty though, I have to admit. Cheap little cleaning brush, USB-C cable, and a scooper. Now we get to the main event, the grinder itself. I'm not terribly encouraged by the clear plastic parts in particular, they seem quite cheap, but the motor-driven portion seems quite nice and solid and decently put together. Got a single button for on and off, USB-C port for charging, and a weird little cap and strap thing up top there, I guess if you want to hang it up or sit it on a bench. Editor's note! Yes, for those of you who recognised what this is actually for, at a glance, I did indeed figure it out all on my own, and I will show you in a minute. It's quite a bit more useful than I initially gave it credit for. So the whole thing is in three main parts, the grind catching cup, the burr grinder section, which is adjustable to five different settings, not super flexible, but should be enough for most people and most brewing styles commonly used. The blurb on Amazon mentions French press to espresso, but I have my doubts about the fine setting for espresso use. Well, we'll come to that in just a second. And again, pretty much entirely plastic in construction, not super confidence inducing as despite it being portable, I'm not sure I would trust its robustness for actual actual proper travel. The conical ceramic grinding burrs do seem to be of good quality though. They seem cleanly made with decent materials as far as I can tell about these things anyway. So the scoop included holds roughly 7 grams of beans and the hopper will hold barely 4 scoops, meaning depending on your brewing method again, you can get about 2 servings worth of coffee at once from a single grind. Grinding two scoops for a single serve takes about two minutes. It will vary a little depending on your grind size, of course, but around two minutes, which is also how long it takes me to bring a cup of water to my preferred brewing temperature in my microwave. So that's pretty handy, actually. 
For each of the five grind settings, the results are pretty consistent and pretty reliable. Pretty much identical to what I get from my hand crank grinder, actually, in any case. But as you can see, the finest setting, I am not convinced that that will be ideal for an espresso as suggested by the marketing blurb. I don't have an espresso machine to test that with, but I'd expect people who do brew espresso themselves would want something a little finer and a little more consistent. Thank you very much. But my practical results here certainly do cast a shadow on their product shots from the Amazon listing. They are certainly very, very deceptive. But you know what? That was always a pretty safe bet, wasn't it? And also, I mean, what are the chances that anyone brewing their own espresso coffee at home will also be using an inexpensive, handheld, battery-operated grinder to get there with? Probably pretty low, right? So I'll be filing this one into, well, here's the results, but it doesn't actually matter, does it? In actual use, it makes the kind of noise you'd expect an electric grinder to make. It's not particularly loud or obnoxious, but it is doing mechanical grinding work, so it is, you know, loud enough to notice from the next room or something. Oh, and that weird little cap? Yeah, that, the, the colour was the hint on that one. It's the same colour as the cup for the grind, so it's a little lid for the grind cup. So you can grind a larger batch than you actually need for immediate use and keep the rest for later. There's no gasket or any other attempt to actually make it properly airtight, which makes it impractical for, you know, storage. But it also can't really hold more grinds than you'll be using in a single day for two or three cups, so it's actually perfectly fine to just keep a small batch of grinds at the ready for later in the same day. It doesn't actually need to be perfectly airtight for that. And as for match your life, well, I've been using it for four days now without recharging it. And if the basic indicator lights that show operation and battery life and whatnot and charging are even close to accurate, I'm expecting I'll only need to charge this thing probably once a week if I'm only using it like two or three times a day. And charge time is only a couple of hours, so no big deal. Plus, of course, if it does go flat at an inconvenient time, there's that manual operation option too. So no biggie there, really. Certainly hits the good enough mark in my experience so far. So... All in all, I'm reasonably impressed. Quite useful if you, like me, live in a tiny apartment, you don't have the bench space or a proper electric grinder, or if you're, you know, you're a little coffee snobby and want to fresh grind your own beans at work or something and risk being mocked by your co-workers in the office about it, or indeed on the job site. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine being a bricklayer and whipping this thing out at lunchtime? <laughs> Oh dear, you never at the end of it, would you? Or indeed, you know, it's good for that weekend away and whatnot. Again, though, it's general construction and my impression of the plastics quality would have me concerned about how robustly it would survive a more active adventuring weekend trip, like camping, for example. But, you know, again, if, if you're going camping and you're and you're taking fresh coffee beans to grind on site, are you, are you really camping at that point? I mean, isn't the point to rough it a bit? Go get some pine needles. Go catch a fish. Do it properly. <laughs> and the nature of its assembly, and indeed disassembly, means it's really, really easy to clean as well. The whole grind section just pulls away from everything else, so you can just run water right through it to rinse it out. It is quite nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been interesting, useful, informative, or just a, a way to pass a few minutes by. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Thank you as always to the patrons scrolling up above the who's above and beyond support. I really do appreciate very, very much. Thank to each and every one of you for your continued support. I am Blunty. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next time. And um, enjoy your coffee.